Welcome back to Dark Souls, everyone. This is Kay. I was just looking at my new weapons that I've picked up. Starting with the Partisan. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It looks like... It looks similar to the Winged Sphere. Although the, the flat damage is less and the scaling is a little bit better, so... If I end up putting more points into strength, which I, I'm not really planning on doing. I think it might surpass it in a few levels. I also picked up these swords at some point, the long sword and the short sword, and I don't think I ever tried them, so I'm going to do that real quick. standard. They seem similar to the uh, to the Claymore move set, actually. And that looks pretty much the same too, in term in terms of moves anyway. It's got a longer reach, I suppose. It also scales, uh, they both scale with strength and dexterity by a level of C. I'm gonna go with the claymore today. Oh, that's heavy, it makes me roll slowly. There we go. Vary it up. And we're going back to the, uh, we're going back to this forest. One, to try to get my souls back. Because I think that was the last place I died. And two, there was at least one direction I hadn't gone yet. There was a tower that had some stairs in it, if I remember. Tree fellows. Come here, tree fellows. <laughs> that thing drains stamina pretty quickly. I only get two swings with it. If I start with that, with the jumping attack. Bleeding build up. Why not? Just in case. Uh -oh. <laughs> stamina. <laughs> stamina is a problem. There we go. Wait, these things seem to drop items quite often. I, I, I noticed when I was watching my previous video back that there was a <laughs> that there is yet another way to go here. I, I didn't even notice this while I was actually looking at it, but I saw it in the replay. So there's another path here too. Um, that looks like it kind of it's like a switch back, a little narrow path that looks like it kind of goes down the side of this mountain. And that's could be treasure, could be flowers. It's hard to tell. But I'm going to save this path for probably another episode and keep going this way instead. Oh, is that thing still up there? Yeah. Maybe it's a good guy. Maybe I have to save the giant moth. Maybe the giant moth is the magic instructor. could do that. You never know. You can't just make assumptions. Here's my magic. Oh man, those things have like longer reach than even my jumping attack. It 
it is nice that they let you move a little bit while you're in the middle of casting a magic spell. I noticed that, like, you, I don't think you can do that when you have, when you're shooting the bow, for example. Oh! Oh! Fumble. Just lost some item. I still don't know how to get up there. And I got attacked, like somebody jumped down, I think, from up there somewhere. Hello? Tree person? Had to do a short break in the video there. Had company. Uh, what was I doing here? I was <laughs> not getting smushed by a gigantic moth. All right, so this was the door I couldn't open. And to the right here was a room with some... Ch oh, they're, uh, they're there now. <laughs> I guess they don't go back into the ground like the other ones. see what I was doing. Okay. I think that was all of them. So I guess this is just a trap. I don't really see... I don't see anywhere to go from in here. So, just kind of an ambush. And I died... Dead over here somewhere. So I think my souls will be here. Oh yeah, I died in here. So what is this? Just this thing on the tree. Oh. Out of those moss clumps. I think I'm I'm all set for a poison creature. So that is a lizard, just kind of blending in with the tree. Just waiting for me to pick up the souls. Enemies in this game are just freaky. That's all there is to it. Look at that. It's like let's take let's take like the worst parts of snakes and spiders and hide them on trees so that you run into them. So I don't really want to wake up all of these uh all of these mossy knights. So I'm gonna try to... is that another one? That's another lizard. I wanna go up this tower over here. So I'm going to get one of these guys anyway. Uh -oh. Oh, the sword doesn't do as much damage as my club.
Oh, that was lucky. I wonder how many times that blue tear stone ring has actually saved my life. Because <laughs> I've had some pretty close calls. I don't know whether it, it, like, processes on the hit that reduces you to very low life, or if it's only after the hit that reduces you to very low life. I'm gonna switch back to the club. This Claymore is just, it's, it's kind of slow, and it uses a lot of stamina to swing it. Whereas the club, I get like, at, I think I get like one extra swing with it. Because I can do a big attack and then two small attacks. Okay. A white light, but it looks like it goes to a bridge, so I think we're okay to go through here. I need to stop saying things because the game just does the exact opposite of whatever I say. Oh god. It's this, uh, I guess a butterfly, not a moth. Uh, let's do soul arrow. 21 damage, yep. Uh, can I like hide here? some distance. Ow. Ow. I can't even like, <laughs> I can't even reach it with my normal weapons. Maybe I should have the bow equipped. Uh, let me try heavy soul arrow. Did a bit more damage. Uh oh. <sighs> it's very pretty, at least. Claymore. <laughs> it's like it's telling me you should have used the Claymore. Uh. Hmm. I guess I should try equipping... I should put the magic wand here so that I can use the shield and it. And then maybe I'll put the bow here because I can't use a shield and a bow at the same time from what I've said. Oh! I could try the light crossbow there. That's a thought. Alright, when I get to the boss, I'll switch in the crossbow with the, uh, I'll switch out the club and put in the crossbow. And I'll put the bow here just so I have it. Sure, but... I think I can put these back on. It'll be okay. There we go. Alright. Going back. So the moonlit, was it moonlight? Moonlight or moonlit butterfly? Oh, it's, I should probably see if I have like magical resistance armor that's better than what I'm wearing too, because clearly seem to be using magic against me. I love the club. It's got sentimental value. Still haven't found that. Maybe I get that after I fight the butterfly. Oh, that thing pops up out of the ground. It doesn't come from... That's not my... There we go. 
Oh god, I'm just... I'm hitting the wrong buttons now, because I'm used to this thing being in the left hand. That was that was a good idea right up to the last uh, <laughs> right up to the last swing. Oh god. Come on. This is like an exercise in futility. Or in ineptitude. An exercise in ineptitude. Yes, go over the edge. Go that way. Oh. Alright, I guess it's good you didn't go up, go over the edge, since you had treasure. Yeah, I guess I fight it up, up there. Oh wait, where's the, where's the bridge where I'm actually fighting it? Maybe it's like up there, behind the trees, and then I guess I'll go into that building and then maybe come down to get that treasure on the, on the ledge there. Or maybe I have to go through here. I don't know. There's so many places to go. Like, I, I think I still have like half a dozen at least routes that I haven't explored yet. Oh yeah, these guys. Alright, so my right hand. Let's do heavy solar arrow on that guy. And then... A light solar arrow maybe will kill him. on those guys. It's like, I feel like I should be expecting some poisonous and bleeding inducing <laughs> enemies very shortly. It's like they're preparing me for it. So is this... Are these spiky things all like... Oh, I guess they are all enemies. Alright, so I gotta be on the lookout for spiky heads in the ground now. I think I can maybe just ignore that. They only seem to activate if you get real close to them. Let me hit this guy as he's getting up. Maybe get behind him. Butterfly, another go. Oh yeah, there it is. So I'm going to put the crossbow here. Crossbow, there we go. And I have 16 shots for that. And then I'm going to put the bow there. And then I want to get as much magical defense as possible. So I've got 108. That looks like the best. 109 for the chain armor. 115 for the sorcerer's cloak. So it looks like 124 maybe is the best I can do. Shield. Oh, I put all the all the rest of my shields in the uh, in the storage box. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Do I have anything better than 30? 
Nope. This is the best I've got. Okay. So I'm going to use the 16 arrows that I have for the crossbow and then switch to a... Uh, maybe I'll start with a heavy solar arrow, actually. That did 80-something damage. Oh, can I roll fast? Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Oh, that's new. <laughs> that's a new attack. No, 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 no. Oh, it's... It's here. Oh, I don't have my... <laughs> I don't have my weapons equipped anymore. I can't... <laughs> Maybe I can hit its wing. What is that? Uh, shield. Yeah, it didn't seem to do anything. Oh, that damage is not good. Ouch. Yeah, that one seems really easy to kind of just walk around. I'm worried about that beam now, though. Riveting com commentary, I'm sure. It doesn't even look at it. I think I'm hitting the wall. Yeah. Maybe I can hit its wing. There we go. Thirty-two damage. That's not gonna cut it. Uh-oh, bad timing, bad timing! Alright, I need to switch, uh, back to... Any weapon, any weapon, get out, get out! No! Oh boy! <laughs> My timing is off by like half a move each time. Okay. Oh, couldn't dodge it. Uh, man. This is painful. One more healing and it's only half dead. Alright, let's hit it with everything we got. No, I don't want to be in there. I don't want to be in there. Go back. Alright, I got no more soul arrows. Uh uh. I do have a bow though. Land, <laughs> come down. Land. What was that? Oh, that doesn't do hardly any damage. Oh. 
Come on. Yes. Woo! All right. Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly and Humanity. Um, what am I doing here? 66 health left, so like 10% of my life. 